So as you can see from my resume, I've been babysitting for a long time. I have to say, Anna, I'm quite impressed. It seems like you have the exact qualifications we've been looking for. Thank you. And to be honest, it would be a huge honor to work for you, Mr. Richards. I am a big fan of the films that you've directed. In fact, I'm an aspiring actress myself. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Everything looks great, and we do need someone to work tonight, so I would say you're hired. Unless you have some questions, honey? Uh, Anna, would you, um, would you just give us a, a minute? <clears throat> Don't you think we're moving a little fast? But, honey, she's perfect. She's exactly what we've been looking for. I don't know, there's something off about her. Didn't it feel like she was flirting with you the whole time? And didn't you say that you wanted to hire somebody a little, I don't know, a little bit older? Is that what's been bothering you? That she's young and attractive? <laughs> Figured would give you a nice break from having to look at me all day. Hey, what are you talking about? I didn't get sick of looking at you, you're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> We both know I haven't looked the same ever since I gave birth. Besides, you're surrounded by young and attractive women all day at your job. I'm sure you're used to flirting with them, pretty girls. No. I hope that you would have the trust to know that I wouldn't do something like that. If we don't have trust, then we don't have anything. There's nothing for you to worry about. So let's not keep her waiting. Fine. <laughs> oh. You look so fat in this dress. <laughs> what are you talking about, honey? You look great. No, I look like a whale. <laughs> I haven't been able to lose this weight since the pregnancy. I'm gonna change my dress. Will you get the door? Yeah, sure, honey. <clears throat> hey, stop being so hard on yourself. You look great. <sighs> Anna, hey, thanks for coming. I must say that you look very handsome all dressed up, Mr. Richards. Oh, thank you. You are all dressed up too. Are you going somewhere after this? <laughs> Actually, I wore this for you. All right, um, come on in. So we're getting ready to head out. Can I get you anything? Something to drink? You got water, juice? Mm, do you have any tequila? Um, well, uh, <laughs> the baby is asleep already, um, so, yeah, 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 that's, that's fine. <laughs> hey. you want to give it to me. What, are you seriously not going to take one with me? No. No, I couldn't. I, that wouldn't be appropriate. Who said that? Okay, so I um, actually really got to go. Uh, you know, if you need anything, um, just, just call us. Sorry, just one more thing. It has always been my dream to become an actress. It's so hard finding work. Do you mind looking at my new headshot? Sure. Well, what do you think? I think that they are fine. I'm sorry that I really got to go. 
Wait. This pie is cooking. Let me fix it for you. You know my wife's gonna be down here any second, so. Let's cut to the chase. We all know how it works in Hollywood. Give me a role in your upcoming film. And I'll give you something in return. No. No, absolutely not. That is enough, Anna. You need to go. But I thought you needed me to babysit. Look, maybe I haven't made this abundantly clear, but I love my wife. She trusts me. And I'm not going to do anything to break that trust. Look, it's okay. Just forget it happened. You don't need to tell your no, wife. No, 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 no. This is not up for discussion. You are fired. You need to leave. Are you serious? Go. I gotta tell you something. I fired the babysitter. She tried to come on to me. Can you believe that? What? Oh my God. Yeah, I told you, something was off about her. Well, it's okay. I'm sure this kind of thing happens to you at work all the time. No, it doesn't. And if it did, I would tell you about it. Why do you keep saying stuff like that? What is going on? Huge mistake. I feel terrible. You see, ever since giving birth, I've just been feeling so insecure about myself. My body just hasn't been the same, and I haven't been feeling attractive at all. And what makes it even harder is that I know you're surrounded by pretty girls all day at work. I've been so worried that you're going to fall in love with one of them and forget all about me. So I did something I shouldn't have. I found a pretty actress online to come over and pretend to be a babysitter to see how you'd respond. So you see, and it's not a real babysitter. She was an actress. And the only reason she was trying to seduce you is because I told her to. I wanted to see if you would cheat on me. What? So this was all just some test? How could you do something like that? I know. I'm sorry. Terrible. I, I thought you would break our trust. But it turns out I let my insecurities do that instead. What you did was not right. But at least now I hope you realize that you're the only woman I want to be with. We have nothing to worry about. So sorry. Now I realize you were right. If we don't have trust, we don't have anything. Thank you for helping me see that. I love you. I love you too. Next. Okay. The total is fourteen eighty seven. This is six dollars and twelve cents. I said fourteen eighty seven. Thought I had more, let me see. This is all I have. And you'll have to put something back. 
You can take the mayo out. Well, could you hurry up, please? I don't have all day, buddy. I'm really sorry. Daddy, is something wrong? No, sweetie, everything's okay. Total's now 1286. You still don't have enough. Listen, you can take the cake out. Daddy, no! It's for Grandpa's birthday. He's been really sad. so sad lately, and the cake would have made him so happy. Excuse me? I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I just saw what happened back there, and I thought that maybe I could help. So, please, take this. <laughs> wow, man. Um, thank you. But... Why are you doing this? You don't even know us. Well, I don't know what it's like to not have enough. You see, when I was a young boy, my mother and I were homeless and we barely had enough money to eat. We went to the grocery store and when my mom got to the cashier, she didn't have enough money to pay. We left the store empty handed, not knowing how we were gonna eat that night. But then out of nowhere, an amazing man bought us some food. We didn't know how we would ever repay him. But he gave us this card and said the only thing we needed was to one day help someone else in need. So you see, I'll never forget that kind man. He thought he was just giving me food, but he gave me so much more than that. A life lesson I'll never forget. He made such a big difference in my life and I'll probably never know. Wow, man. That's a beautiful story. My grandpa's gonna be so happy. Here, take this. And just always remember to pay it forward and help someone else in need. I will. Thank you, mister. This is lovely. My favorite cake. Grandpa, why are you crying? It's nothing, sweetie. I'm fine. Please, Dad. Just, just tell us what's wrong. It's just that I turned 76 years old today. And lately, I can't help but wonder, has my life had any purpose? Have I made any difference in this world? Please, Dad, don't talk like that. It's like, today is your birthday and we want to celebrate that. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's do that. But son, how could you afford to buy this cake? I know things have been hard. Just to be honest, I didn't have any money. But 
there was this man who, he bought everything for us. And the only thing he asked us to do in return was to do it for someone else in the future. He even gave us his card. He said that someone gave it to him when he was little. Is everything okay? Listen, I just realized that my life did make a difference. Now, who wants the first piece? Me. <laughs> uh, no, me. Uh, excuse me. Dad, I'm your child. I'm your Only I'm way you have a grandchild is because of me.